you doing guys? This is Chase Forrester from Naked Tech doing a live tutorial on how to install ThemeKit. Now it is quite difficult for Mac users and the reason why is because you've most likely got an M1 which is why you're watching the video. So as you can see in the developer themes, uh, you know, support tool here, support website that says the Apple M1, the, the Apple M1 architecture is not natively supported but ThemeKit will work if you start the terminal with the open using Rosetta option, if, if, if that's even English. So if you, what does that mean? Let's get straight into it. So basically what you've got to do is you've got to come to your applications folder here. And then once you've come into your applications folder here, you want to scroll down up until you see um, your terminal. So, um, you know, it might be XM rig, it might be whatever. But what we want to do is we want to copy and paste this. So copy we're going to make a duplicate of it and we're going to open it and we're going to go to get info and we're going to open using Rosetta. So as you can see here, um, we will click here and there's a normal terminal and there's a Rosetta terminal. So once we've copied that, we'll rename it Rosetta um, terminal or you can name it whatever you want. And then we're going to drag it onto our home screen here. So I've already done that. So I'm just going to delete that. Once you've opened the Rosetta terminal, we'll be going into installing it. So if you haven't already installed it, um, you know, you need to go to Homebrew. So I'll leave the link in the description. So Homebrew uh, is, I've spelled it in capitals. Um, install, I'm not doing too well spelling today. Bear with me guys. So we go to the Homebrew. So um, I'll leave the link in the description and we just copy this here. Once we've copied that, we'll install Homebrew into our Rosetta terminal. Once that's installed, and it will look like this, you will need to enter a password, and once you've entered a password and it's successfully installed, we'll go to the next step. Okay, and the next step is going into your, um, your Shopify page. And then once we're in our page, what we wanna do is we wanna go to, um, apps here and then when we're on apps we want to go to develop apps once we click on that we'll notice that we've got this here but we're going to create a new app just for you guys and we're going to call it um i don't know what do you guys want to call it naked tech test right cool um we've got naked tech test and now we've got this option here. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on this one, which is configure admin API scopes. Once we've configured the admin API scopes, we're just gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom uh, and we're gonna rewrite themes and read themes. Now, once that's enabled, we will come back up to the top and we will save. Great, and now that's it saved, we will go to click install app. Great. Now that's installed and we're going to have these tokens and I do recommend that we get these tokens up and running on a uh, note. So, um, you know, like I'll just go here and we'll go to um, Google Docs and we're going to continue with Google. Oh, I don't know what's happening here. Okay, it's signing me into my notes folder, which is strange. What, what I'm going to do is Google Docs. There we go. All right. Cool, we're in Google Docs. And we're gonna open a blank document. This is completely free, by the way. And we wanna write in the um, code snippet for this because it's only revealed once. So this is really important that we uh, get this documented somewhere on paper or anywhere that you can make sure that it's safe because this is the back end to your um, you know, you doing the development for Shopify. So we'll reveal it once and then we'll copy this and we'll keep it here. So we're gonna call it exactly what they call it on Shopify, which is the API, admin API access token. So admin API access token. Cool. Now we've got that put in safely and it's secure. We're gonna call this um, Shopify, Naked Tech, why not? Uh, 
API keys. We're going to call it API keys. All right, so now we've got the first part. Now we need to go to the second part of the documentation is uh, once you've got all that installed, we need to install ThemeKit. Okay, so, so to install ThemeKit, um, we need to get started. We do need, now we can install it um, using this um, thing here. So what we do is we copy that, we come back to our theme when Brood is installed and we click continue and it will start install, installing ThemeKit. Now it will come up that I already have it installed. Um, I don't know why it's doing it again. There we go. Um, I already is already installed. It's not today. Cool. Um, and then once that's installed, we can start getting into the back end of your Shopify store. All right. So we do need to copy these keys. So I would recommend keeping uh, this one. So API key, and we'll paste that in, and. We'll get to the reason why we're documenting this later, but then we need the API secret key as well. So that's that one, bang, done. And that is API secret key. And this is the last part guys. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too hard for you guys. We go to online store and we go to customize. We press the customize button here and up in the browser, we'll see this number. We want to take that number. So once we've taken that number, we'll go right in theme ID, because that's exactly what it is. Right, cool. So we've got all these credentials here, and that's exactly what we need to get in. And the next part we're going to go to is we're going to go to, uh, we're going to close this, come here, and we're going to do um, start deploying our. Um, App. So how we're going to do that is we need to come over to um, this part here. So if we create a new folder, I'm going to call this folder um, theme. No, what was it? Naked tech test. Why not? Something like that. And then we're going to change the CD, which is change disk to um, desktop. And then we're going to change disk again to naked test tech sorry test and enter right now we're in that folder so now what we want to do is we want to get our um, theme to that um, we want to find out how to get this right so we're going to copy this we're going to come back to our um, little browser here and we're going to enter these codes in so big thing is um, we don't want anything misspells or anything like that. And this is where I kept fucking up is, um, you know, we've got the uh, API ac admin access code. So we're cool with that. And then we go to, and we add it in here. So your theme kit password, that is the first part. So we paste that in and notice that those brackets that are usually here have gone away. Then we go to the store, making sure those brackets are gone. So the store, um, Shopify theme, I'm sorry, I totally forgot, is this part here. So it'd be loretic.shopify, myshopify.com. So we're going to add that into um, our code snippet here. And once we've entered that in, we're going to press it in. That's fine. And I am doing this live, guys. I'm so sorry. And then we've got the um, live ID. So um, the theme ID, sorry. So we'll go here and enter that in. Now, uh, once we're in here, we should be able to download the thing. I'm going to assume it's not going to work, but if it does, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to just pause this and we're back and it started working. Okay, so um, I'm using a different one. So if any hackers are out there trying to get get into me, um, I am using a different ID, but it will, it will work for you. Um, and if it doesn't leave a comment in down below and I will get to you. But basically what it's doing now is it's going into this folder here. And, um, you know, that's amazing. So it's it's getting the um, data of what's currently on our site now and it's bringing it to life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that into our Visual Studio Code if you guys are using Visual Studio Code. And so we'll just grab that, open it in Visual Studio Code and it will open and all our assets will be here. And you'll also notice that our um, 
Steam ID and password and store uh, URL is all there as well in the config YAML file. Now, just to go through um, the theme watch, because this is the next important part, is there is um, something that's really annoying, uh, which I found on a forum on Stack Overflow, which is really helpful for Shopify developers. Um, it wouldn't allow me to just do allow live. So if I just go on that now and just enter allow live, um, it says command not found uh, for allow live. And we don't want that. We want to make it come alive. So I've just left a snippet for you guys below as well and this URL link so you can go onto Shopify and figure out how to develop properly. Uh, and then if we go to theme watch allow live, you'll see that now all changes from this file, which is being uh, rendered inside of Visual Studio Code is now live. So we anything we do on Visual Studio Code will be implemented in the web store live. So on the next part, we'll be figuring out how to do a live theme and what it consists of um, in regards to coding how to implement it and what works um, best for all these elements here and how to edit them in this section here.